Hey guys, it's Mater. Alright, been working on the reverse motor and everything for the trike. This is the part I want it getting in. Um, want to let y'all know, it's it's not really all that hard. I did get the, the trike and everything up in the air. But it's, uh, for the two bolts that hold it on, they're 5 sixteenths, or 5 eighths, excuse me, it's 5 eighths. Uh, you've got an 11 sixteenths nut that's right there. And then you've got another one right here for the rest of your wiring. That's 5 sixteenths. That's the 5 sixteenths. But then in order to get this off, you've got a, I think it's a, a 13 millimeter. Okay. I didn't grab one. I had a half inch and that still wouldn't work. But my 5, my 9 sixteenths, it worked. Ugh, getting tongue tied. But anyways, uh, what I found out is I took the old one off. There's the old one right there. And in the brushes and everything, yeah, I don't know if you can see this or not, but that's got some rust down inside there. And it was this brush here that was wanting to be stuck, okay? So that one there was stuck like that, whereas these others, yeah, they're moving, no problem. But then I looked inside the housing, and yeah, you can see some rust and whatever down inside there. Okay, so that's going to be the problem. Um... Beyond, I mean, this little part right here, if I put it, once I get everything put back on the trike and everything works, then yeah, I know it was worth $170 um, to get that fixed compared to going to Harley and buying a brand new one of these, okay? $1,000. Yeah. $1,000 to get one of these from Harley, Okay. I went on eBay. You can find these on eBay. There are several different places on there. They've got multiple kits. If you want, you can just get the brushes, okay, which is the main thing that usually goes out. But I've got this, so I will order a set of brushes. That way I can basically rebuild this section if it ever does go out again. Hey, I've already got one. I don't have to worry about it. So I already know what the problem is. I'll get that all cleaned up and make, make it nice and shiny. You know, something like that, except for my dirty fingerprints being on there. I'm not worried about getting that cleaned up because, hey, it's going back up underneath the trike. It's going to get dirty from road debris anyway, so eh, who cares? So, anyways, there you go. Um, I'm going to get the, go back out there and get it put on and do some testing. And hopefully uh, this gets it work because, man, I tell you, yesterday and a couple other times, man, it is... <laughs> These things are a lifesaver trying to move a 1,300 pound trike with, you know, me on it and with Crystal. That's still, you know, pushing about 2,000 pounds uh, between the two of us on the bike along with the trike itself. That's a lot of weight trying to move backwards. And especially if you're in gravel, yeah, that this little sucker does come in handy. All right, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. And I'll be doing another video soon. So hang in there. Bye for now.